Welcome to my channel. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to enlighten and show you things that I peep. But before I do that, can you please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? And be sure to ring that post notification bell so that you can receive a notification the moment I drop a video. And I thank you in advance. Welcome back. Tonight I'm going to be discussing some more nursery rhymes with darker tones. When you think of nursery rhymes, you think of fun little stories to retell to your kids or you to retell to yourself. But a lot of them have more sinister, darker undertones to them. Let's start with the laundry bridge. London bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Yeah. Okay? We just think of that as a song, you know, London bridge, but you don't actually think about the London bridge. Back in those times, what people would do was they would um, do child sacrifices, it was said. And what they would do is bury these children under the foundation of these buildings. And the children, the dead children, would watch over the um, buildings and stuff. And so it was said that London Bridge, the London Bridge, did not have any children under it to um, watch over. Like ghost children would watch under these because... Um, their spirits were protected, and so it was said that the London Bridge did not have that protection. And because of this, the bridge fell down. <laughs> I know we love these songs, you know, we always did, but when you find out it has these different undertones to it, it kind of just, it messes up, it messes it up for me a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to talk about Peter, Peter Pumpkin Eater. Had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell and very kept her very well. This story was about an unfaithful wife. But at first it was called a chimney because, you know, they said they put her in a chimney. She cheated on him allegedly, and he had to put her inside of a pumpkin to keep her there, to, you know, to keep her away because she, you know, he killed her. So he had to hide her inside a pumpkin so he wouldn't get in trouble for it. It also was a warning for little girls to be faithful to their husbands or they might end up dead. Ain't that crazy? Never heard of that. I'm telling you, the stuff you could go back and look at and just think about that you... Um, you know, said as a child, you know, different sayings, different songs, different um, fairy tales, different uh, rhymes and stuff like that, all have darker tones. I mean, so many I have found out. I have a lot more, but these are just a few. I'm just, I'm doing a little series here. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? So it says, so her garden growing was symbolic to a graveyard. The term garden was used to spice it up and make it sound more kiddish. You know, think of a nice little garden and, you know, the garden growing. But no, it was symbolic really to a graveyard of dead bodies. Isn't that creepy? You know, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Years ago, Jamie Foxx had saying that on um, <laughs> HBO special. That's when I knew he could sing and shit. Yeah, he sure did, but I bet he don't know about this. Or does he? Who knows? Anyway... Who's heard of Ladybug, Ladybug, fly away home, your house is on fire, and all of your kids are gone? All except for one, and her name is Anne, and she hid under the baking pan, the frying pan. Now, some says baking pan, some says frying pan. I'm not even going to say that this has a dark history to it. I mean, just listen to it. I, you can listen to it and hear the darkness to it, the dark present, history, past, whatever. It's just evil in itself. You know what I'm saying? House on fire, you know, come on, it just sounds evil. And then we have Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after him. This is symbolic to King Louis the 16th and Queen Marie Antoinette. It, said that it was said that they had um, destroyed France and basically just jacked it up, right? So they say that um, King Louis the 16th lost his crown, meaning actually meaning the guillotine, you know, where it chopped his head off and the queen fell soon after. Isn't that creepy? We thought all about, you know, Jack and Jill going up to hell, maybe getting a little bit, you know, doing a little bit kissing and, you know, a little sneaking around and stuff like that. And it was also said that it was about, you know, um, Jack being, you know, having um, Jill and cheating on Jack or whatever. And then with her cheating, that there was an unwanted pregnancy. And it said that, you know, it um, involved Jack catching a serious, serious blow to the head and then Jill dying during childbirth. These are a couple different things that I heard about that, but either way, both of those are some creepy ass, sinister type of backgrounds. And what about Goosey Goose with the dose thou wonder? Upstairs and downstairs, and here in the lake's chamber. There I met an old man who would say his prayers. I took him by the leg and threw him down the stairs. 
this was said to have come um, during a time where the Catholic priests had to hide in people's homes and just hide different places during the ruling of the Protestants so they wouldn't get killed right there on the spot for their beliefs. Like um, the Catholic priests really had it bad back then. You know what? Is this what make them be so nasty now? I'm not sure, but you know, we all know what they've been getting caught doing and stuff like that. Just, you know, inappropriateness, but yeah, goosey goosey gonder. All about a Catholic priest hiding from Protestants. <laughs> wow. I have a lot more for you guys. I thank you for watching these. You know, I'm on a journey of just showing the world all kind of things that are, you know, and it is my duty to share them with you. So make sure y'all come back. And thank you for watching. I'll be back.